Okay. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. This morning, I am going to attempt to take my pathophysiology. I think it's 236 OA. I was going to try and put it off. Um, until after September 1st, when the new term started. But yesterday I spoke with my mentor and she was saying that it would show up as a no pass on my transcript, which I did not know that before. I knew that it would transfer over. I just didn't know that it would show up as a no pass. And she said it wouldn't be a big deal she said the only time it would be a big deal is like if i wanted to move on to like mp school or like further and she's like hey we're stuck between two candidates and one had no pass and one had pass she was like most likely they would go with the one that was pass and since my really big overzealous goal is to possibly go into midwifery. Um, I was like, oh man, um, maybe I should try to take the OA. Um, I mean, if I don't pass it, it'll show up as a no pass, but at least I can take an attempt. I mean, to me, that makes sense in my mind. I don't wanna just have a no pass for a no pass. I wanna at least try because at least I have a chance. So, I studied yesterday while I was at work. Yesterday was calmer, so I got to study. I've been doing the worksheets for like all of August. The worksheets, um, I downloaded all the worksheets. They started out at 64 pages. I'm not even done with the last two chapters. And my notes are at 147 pages. Yeah, so they're pretty in-depth and there are some pictures. Um, well, there's a lot of pictures. Um, well, there's a decent amount of pictures. So that goes to show you like how in-depth I go into my notes. And I'm in the pathophysiology Facebook groups and everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of them have been saying, just use Betsy's study guide. And, I'm, and for me, I'm like, no, I wanna make sure that I know all the information like, I don't want to go off of somebody else's information because I want to make sure that when I further myself in this program that I actually know what I'm talking about because I've heard that a lot of these subjects come back again. So that's why I chose not to just study Betsy's uh, guide and to just do the Quizlets. Not to say that they're bad or anything, but I want to make sure that I know the information. But after um, yesterday, I'm like, okay, Maybe I should um, look at Betsy study guide, do the Quizlets. So I did that and um, I'm just like, okay, maybe I just gotta speed past these last two chapters. And also mind you, if you guys are not new to my channel, remember I did take advanced physiology at Ivy Tech um, back in the fall, almost like a year, well, almost like a year ago. Um, but I feel like I'm, I've am i learned more through WGU because it's not as rushed. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to feel tired. Ugh. Um, I've been up probably since before four o'clock. I don't think I got really any good sleep last night. Yesterday, I don't know if it's because of that phone call. I've just been feeling so just like nervous. There's nine days left in my term. Um, it's August 23rd, there's nine days left in my term. I don't know if it's because of that phone call that has me nervous or it's because I had a new energy energy drink yesterday. <laughs> it was like a ZOA um, or if it's because I didn't take any melatonin last night, but I had just been so nervous and I have just, I was praying all night. I'm like, God, please help me go to sleep. Please help me go to sleep. Please help me go to sleep. And then finally I looked at my um, clock at about like four because I was up before then, but I'm just like, okay, 
I'm gonna try to go to sleep. Then again, I looked at it at five and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and schedule my test because I'm literally not sleeping because I'm so like nervous about this away. You know what I mean? Cause at first I'm like, okay, well I'll get up and I'll get the kids settled and everything. And then I'll see what times are available. But like, I'm not even sleeping. So it's like, what is the point of me even laying in this bed if I'm not even sleeping? You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, let me get up, get showered. Let me wash my hair. At least wash my scalp because my scalp was a little itchy. Um, read my Bible, kind of give me some peace. Journal out um, some of the things I've been feeling because that honestly helps me. Let me run through, um, test uh, my computer, make sure everything's running smoothly, drink my water, and just kind of show you guys or just kind of talk through like how I'm feeling and everything and um, get some more studying in. Um, I, like I said, I did not get a chance to review the endocrine system and the reproductive system in the course material. Um, but I did really like studying the reproductive system in anatomy, uh, 102. And you guys know, I love labor and delivery, stuff like that. Um, I did take the PA three times last night. The first time when I got off, I took it, kind of slacked around, did not pass it, and then reviewed my answers, took it again, passed it, and then um, like went through, saw like what it is, and then took it a third time, kind of understanding more and more. And then last night I reviewed Betsy's study guide and then just kept doing Quizlet, 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 Quizlet. So that's what I did to review. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to pray, read my Bible. Um, I'm going to get my, I'm going to anoint my head with some oil um, to help calm my nerves before the test. And I'm just going to see how I do. If I don't pass, then it'll show up as a no pass on my transcript. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to just leave it. I'm going to try, but you guys know I get restless. I'm going to try to just leave it until after September 1st, give myself a little break. But like I said earlier, if it's going to show up as a no pass, I might as well at least try because at least there's a chance that I could pass it. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see after this video. Well, guys, I did not pass my pathophysiology away and honestly it's probably because I rushed it yep so I'm gonna see what my advisor says I need to do and yeah I'm disappointed but I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna really review these um, study guides and pay less attention to the worksheets, I guess. So I think I have to wait two days before I can take the next one. But I'm gonna see what she says um, and see what the Facebook groups are saying about the second attempts. So, but yeah, I did not pass my physiology away. I'm sad, but I'm kind of glad that it's over. But now I'm a little bit, I don't want to be anxious, but now, now it's kind of just like the unknown of like, okay, because I've never taken like a remediation test or the live quizzes, I guess you could say. Or I don't know if I have to do that or not. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what my advisor says.